Damon and I, the old drummer from Converge, we were just gonna have fun and start this new project. So we had started writing songs. In September of 95, Bedard's old band, Backbone, had done a reunion show. Within a month, Chris Papecki, the guitar player at Castro and Hike, was in a record store that Aaron Dahlbeck worked at. I don't know Aaron Dahlbeck. I've never even heard of his band Converge at that time. Dahlbeck says, hey, do you know anyone who might want to sing in my new band? And he said, oh, we just did the Backbone reunion. You should call Bedard. And he got me his phone number. He's like, I don't know if you'd want to do it, but here's the number, give him a call. At the beginning of 1995, I'm drumming in a band called The Over Under. I quit the band and end up disappointing one of my best friends to the point where he doesn't talk to me for a very, very long time. The life sends him off the deep end where he starts drinking heavily, eventually kills himself. The day after he kills himself, I go to work, and I leave mid-afternoon, just walk out. I get home at the time that normally I would never be home. I put the key in the lock, and the phone is ringing, and it's Aaron Dahlbeck to say, would you like to come and maybe sing in this new straight edge band I'm starting? I tell him, you know, this is a very bad time, but hit me back in two weeks, because it may be something that I'm interested in. Ben Chusid, who was actually played drums in 10-yard fight, was originally gonna play second guitar, but uh, he had some legal problems that he couldn't leave his house. Um. <laughs> Literally two weeks of the day, he called me. and said, hey, it's me again, what are you thinking? And I said, yeah, let's do it. Christopher Watson, the boy who shot himself, he was a huge fan of all my hardcore bands. I don't believe in fate, I don't believe in the powers that be, but I always thought it was very, very strange that the day after he left us, Aaron Dahlbeck called me with this sort of life-changing, I didn't know it at the time, but it was gonna be the best phone call that I ever took.